Hello lovely people, welcome back to Open Roads and Theatre Seats. Today we are going to do another chatty review on a theatre show I saw recently. I thought about putting makeup on for you all but I am just back from London and I literally feel like a zombie today so there was, <laughs> it's not going to happen. So I put my uh, rainbow specs on for you. You are welcome. Today we are going to talk all things My Sons of Queer but what can you do? So if you want to know my thoughts and feelings on this show then stick around and we'll get into it in two seconds. Here we go, My Sons Are Queer, but what can you do? The current playing at the Garrick Theatre in London, glittering West End until the 6th of November. What are my thoughts? So I, like many people, became reacquainted with the amazing Rob Madge in lockdowns in 2020. Um, Rob was doing other things beforehand, and many people, if you've been with the theatre community for long enough, will know that they were in the 25th anniversary concert version of Les Mis as Gavroche. Even gets a cheeky mention in the play. So if you didn't know before going in, you knew by the end. Um, and yeah. I think everyone got reacquainted with Rob during the lockdowns when they created a bit more online content. They also did a, um, oh, what were they called? Theatre Cafe did them. The show must go on. Was that what they were called? Keep the light on, put the light on, keep the light on. Something about a light on. I also got a text message. I apologise. They are silenced now. <laughs> um, and then through lockdowns, Rob created this play. This one man or one person, should it be, autobiographical show. And My Sons Are Queer was made. So this show is basically an autobiographical, humorous, emotional, one person play of their life. It is set in their childhood front room in the Midlands, what what, and there are costume changes, there are ver little props here and there and everywhere, there are even um, video projections of home movies which tug at the heartstrings, make you giggle, but just prove what amazing parents they had growing up. Rob is a brilliant storyteller, the whole show is kind of done as if they are writing a cheat sheet, so to speak, for the backstage crew and it gives like seven steps on how to make the best show possible. And um, each step has the mix of humour, it has a mix of laughs, it also has emotional moments and parts that you want to tear up. And that is also weaved throughout with songs which were written by Pippa Clearly, which are just beautiful and can now be listened to both on CD if you buy it in the theatre or online. Most places that you can stream music from do have the album. I was listening to it for the majority of my train ride home yesterday um, through Spotify. Um, and yeah, together those two things makes an absolutely brilliant, almost an hour, just over an hour's entertainment. It's absolutely brilliant. I think everyone leaves either laughing, 
crying, wanting a massive hug, want to go and hug Rob, or wanting to be an honorary match. And I think I was like pretty much all of those feelings. I also think that most people will get something out of it, if not every person, but I feel like every person would get something slightly different out of the show. Um, for example, if I took my mum to go and see it, she would get a completely different thing out of it than I do. And the person next to me would have had a completely different experience than I did. It is so brilliantly written and performed and everything about it is absolutely brilliant. It's so worth a watch and it's just... Ex it's extraordinary it's brilliant um and i'm so glad that i finally got the chance to see this because it has been around for a bit now it had it's run at the turbine initially then it went to edinburgh and was at the fringe and finally is now here in the Gar here in the garrick here in london in the garrick not here in london because i'm at home but you know what i mean um, and I was so glad and excited to finally get the chance to go and see this show because I've been hearing so much about it for so long and I have been following Rob for quite a long time on social media definitely since 2020 and it was just so good to be sat in the room listening to them speak everything and I just was like in awe literally in awe they were so brilliant and i just felt enormously proud i think just to be sat there and watching them tell their story and they did it so brilliantly so if you haven't a guest i 100 percent would recommend grabbing a ticket if you are anywhere near london in the next week and a bit like i said it is closing on the 6th of november um, but I feel like this cannot be the end of this show. It either needs another run or to be taken somewhere else and put on for a long period of time. Or even as my friend Emmy said, it needs to go on a tour. It needs to be seen by so many people because everyone can get something from this show. It is an hour of entertainment. It's an hour of brilliance. And it's just amazing. You will laugh. You will cry you will ball but you'll just feel so happy at the end of it all and that's that's what we need in the theatre we need those stories told we need them out there it's just brilliant so there we go that is my sons are queer but what can you do my review um so to say i did cry for the last at least 10 minutes um, and I think most of my group that I went with that cried too, it was emotional, we all felt very close afterwards, um, and it was just absolutely brilliant, it was absolutely wonderful, so yeah, go and check it out if you have the chance, and fingers crossed it gets a tour or a stream or something, because we need some more of this in our lives, we need that happiness, we need that joy, we need that story told. And there we go. So yes, that is the end of me rambling on about this wonderful, wonderful show. Go and grab yourself a ticket, go and check it out, and go and support Rob Madge. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you watched Rob? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you, As always, if you have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments area down below and I will try my best to, to get back to you ASAP. But that is me. I run out. Go and check out this glorious, glorious show and I shall see you in my next video for something else. Bye everyone.